Okay, hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So what we've got here is, a, is an exercise in completing some cells from the ANOVA table of a regression. What we have uh, this, let's call it A. Okay, so we've got four things to find, A, B, C, D cells. Now, let's do A first. Sum of squares column. Right, now basically each one of these columns has a missing value. We're going to use some facts about how things are related in the columns to find the missing cell value. Now, sum of squares is a total sum of squares, it's about 270. There's a regression sum of squares and then there's a residual sum of squares. Now, this is the this is a fact. Total sum of squares is equal to the regression sum of squares, otherwise known as explained sum of squares, plus the residual sum of squares. So it's a simple exercise in deduction here. So regression sum of total sum of squares we're told is two oh got right today two seventy about two seventy point one nine one one nine one equals regression sum of squares regression sum of squares 98.719 98.719 plus RSS therefore just take this to the other side therefore RSS must be do the cal get your calculator out okay, it must be 171 about 171 and a half so that's the first one and we we'll use the fact TSS equals regression sum of squares plus residual sum of squares. Next, degree of freedom. I'm going to use a fact here that the degree of freedom for the regression plus the degree of freedom for the residual equals degree of total degree of freedom. So what we're missing here, B, we can see directly it's just the value 2 because 2 plus 152 equals 154. That's done. Next, the column for mean square. Now, how you get the mean square is for, you've got two mean square figures here, one for regression, one for residual. How you get it is for each row, you divide the sum of squares by the corresponding degree of freedom. So to get 49.36, you'll have divided this figure, 98.719, which is the sum of squares for regression, divided by its degree of freedom, which is 2. You can see it's about 49. So just similar to get C, we're going to divide A by the figure A, which we found to be 171.472. Divide that by its degree of freedom, 152. and that comes out to be about 1.128. Finally, D. D, which is just the F, standing for the F test. Now, the D here, well, no, I did that. D is equal to, this is always the case for this regression, the mean square for the regression divided by the mean square for the residual. So it's going to be 49.36. 9.36 divided by 1.128 so it's about 43.8 okay that's a pretty boring exercise but uh, let's look at put all the results together now we've seen that there's a relationship between the quantities in each column Until we, yeah, until we get to the mean square, where we see that the entry is made to consist of the sum of squares in the row divided by the corresponding degree of freedom. And the f is obtained by dividing the mean square for the regression divided by the mean square of the residual. All right. Now, so ultimately, this f is obtained by using all this lot. So if we if there is some way to read the table, if there's a direction to read the table, it's this way, isn't it, from left to right, because we're proceeding from left to right to, to finally get the F, we need that 
column, that column, this column, to finally get the F. But if we know the F, we don't need any of these guys here, do we? Now, being a test, we want to know what the null and the alternative is. For this F test, this F test is called the test of overall significance. The null is that the model, your regression model, has no explanatory power. That's the same as saying all the coefficients on your IVs are zero. In other words, none of the IVs help to predict the DV. All right, and uh, that's it really. So find one and have a go.